Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look and today we are totally going to be checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse straight from the Wildstorm universe. We have Wildcats Grifter or that's at least how we know him, right? He's a very 90s comic book character. Now he's crossed over into the DC universe. Did so quite a while ago, but you know, for those wondering, this one is specifically the Infinite Frontier look, and you get a really nice photo of the figure on the back of the packaging. I like that they started doing that. Here's the barcode. Mine came from Walmart.com. I'll put the link down in the description below if you want them as well. So this is gonna be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new DC Multiverse Grifter from the Infinite Frontier by McFarlane Toys. And of course, here is everything taken out of the packaging. And like I said, Grifter, he's just one of those characters seeing him all the time. Comic book shops, back of comic books, comic book ads. He's the gun guy. Well, because of the whole Warner Brothers mandate, he comes with a sword, a little bit of a pea soup green handle to it, some silver, very flexible, and you have a hunting knife as well. If it's not a hunting knife, fine, I'm just gonna call it a knife. Knife people, yeah, no need to correct me down below. And of course, here is the figure itself, and yeah, he's very much the 90s grifter with a very modern spin. It's a bit of a boring costume, to be honest with you. He does have a little bit of a wash to his blonde hair, really kind of makes it pop a little bit more, more so than the rest of the costume. I'm glad they put a little bit of wash here and there in various elements, and it does look like there's a man underneath the mask. There's a face underneath there. It's not just like Boba Fett, where there's just a helmet. So I like that. The a little bit of articulation, left and right mostly, but you're gonna knock the mask into his collar. Now underneath his jacket, he's got that Kevlar bulletproof vest. I do wish they would have painted that strap across his chest just to kind of differentiate it a little bit, right? It's a different colored black, but kind of like the comics. That would have been nice. Now, great detail in the jacket, especially in the back. It looks like material, right? That's awesome but a wash would have been so great on that green just to make it pop. Now you do get to see all the different pouches and straps and buckles and whatnot down to his brown pants, but they put a really nice wash on the boots. Really brings it to life, right? If they would have just kind of popped that all over the rest of this figure, that would have been a home run, right? Especially since, you know, to make it up for us. He doesn't come with guns, wink, wink. So yes, speaking of which, he's got trigger finger hands but no guns for old Grifter. He'll spin at the waist. He does have a really nice ab crunch, a lot more than most of the previous McFarlane figures, so they are getting better with that. Double jointed, he's got bicep, he's got rocks in the hands, legs kick out, and he has double jointed knees as well. Just go easy. Mine were a little stuck initially, but uh, yeah, they worked out. Nothing at the boot, but he does have the usual articulation. He's got toe articulation. He's got some really nice treads and peg holes on the bottom of his feet. So overall, it might be a little bit more of a boring figure, but he's really done nicely. I'll give it to him all day. I do like this figure, even though he's missing the necessary weaponry. And just to kind of reiterate, it looks okay with the sword and the knife, but if you give him Red Hood's pistols, just for instance, I mean, the figure really does come back to life. <laughs> now, again, I'll say over and over, I love it when you have like the core edition, right? You put all the accessories that this figure could need. I get it. I get why they can't do it. I'm just glad at this point in my collection of amassed quite the arsenal of action figure weaponry, guns, and everything else. So it works out. You'll find some sort of guns. And you have the munitions pack coming from McFarlane Toys as well. But if you're interested, here's just various weapons, like the she spawn weapons. Those all work nicely. So you could definitely equip him how you see fit. He looks good. He looks okay with the knives, but it's just not grifter. You know what I mean? Especially when you have a character dealing with guns and then he's gonna be going up against Batman. And what I really like is that now that he's in that DC multiverse, it's just kind of cool to have various crossovers. He does really stand well with Batman. I think of Grifter being, yeah, shorter than Batman, so that totally works for me. He's going to be a little bit taller than Red Robin, which, of course, that also works. Great figure, that Red Robin, by the way. And of course, when it comes to Red Hood, hey, thanks for letting me borrow your guns. They're gonna clock in at right around the same height. Now, you have Playmates Toys Grifter with his guns and his stand and Man, what a great set of toys for back in the day, especially for all the weapons that you got, right? What's really cool is that if you have this old Playmates version of Grifter, the true Wildcats Wildstorm version, you can use all those weapons with this Grifter. And I really do feel like they fit in quite nicely 
And that's just awesome to me, especially with those more sci-fi blasters. Whether or not they could issue those, instead of it being like a straight-on actual real-life gun, do more science fiction stuff straight out of the 90s, as Wildcats was known for. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the DC Infinite Frontier version of Grifter. We could just say it's Wildcats Wildstorm all day if you want. He's the 90s grifter, but done a little bit different. Makes him a little bit more modern. And you've heard my thoughts, and I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything grifter. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, you know, I wouldn't mind them uh, tackling the rest of the Wildcats team. Just saying. That would look pretty cool. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.